I found the other 35 watt load, put it in the hole. I may revise the template to uh, extend the color out to the end of the, uh, maybe the whole way to the edge of the paper. In any event, I've done the wiring, power wiring underneath here. And you can see that the reds go to the load, short red here to load positive. The negatives are connected together with black wire and then the black wire runs to the negative terminal of the uh, load input. Now I need to complete uh, the 12 volt low current wiring. I finished the internal wiring, there's not much to it. All the red positive wiring was done mostly on the panel front. I carried this yellow carries the 12 volt positive to the switch. The red comes back and does all its stuff. And then the red wire comes back here. Picks up the fan and that's all the terminal does with the red wire. The black wire comes down here. This black wire goes up to the front and the fan. Fan's running. Loads are running. I think we can put the lid on and see what happens. Well this is a hell of a case of misengineering. What's wrong with this picture? Well the rear mounting bolts uh, I can put them in. There's one. There's two. Do you see what's wrong with this picture? These loads obscure the bolt holes. I've warned people against doing this over and over. I've very carefully measured to make sure the bolt's clear on other projects. I don't think you can mount two of these loads in this enclosure. There we go. It's just that the enclosure is not secured. By the front two bolts. Here's the electronic load. Turned on. The red and black leads go to Hewlett Packard. 6268B, which I think is rated 40 volts at 30 amps. The loads are not turned on. They are electronically powered. You can see I'm supplying 25 volts. This yellow banana parallels these two. Let's turn this load on. It's drawing zero. Well, there's one amp. 
Now the voltage dropped down a little probably because of lead loss. Certainly not taxing the power supply. Run this one up to an amp. So these power supplies are now dissipating each 25 volts at 1 amp. So that's 25 watts here and 25 watts here. If I push this button once, it displays watts. Watts. I'll run it up to 35 watts. It looks like 35, 34, almost 35 watts equates to 1.4 amps. I'll turn this one up to 1.4 amps. So they're each setting pretty close to 35 watts. A little tiny bit of felt heat. I'm feeling some heat. Uh, not much, but it, at the fan at the back. All right, I have a half a can of beer here and a full can here. I'll be back when I finish drinking the beer. Okay, this one just failed on over temperature protection. Even though I've turned the wattage down, to 33 and a half watts. I'm going to reopen the case and make sure the wiring hasn't caused something to happen to the fan. I've taken the top of the case off. The fan is running. It's not obscured. I'll turn the current up a little bit here. I actually if it's calculating wattage, this is the lower of the two voltages. Even though this one should be lower. Lead loss in the yellow lead. So we're now back to, well let's see what the wattage is. So with the case lid top of the clamshell off, I'll run it some more and see if it goes into over temperature protection. It finally occurred to me to touch. I can lay my hand on this one, dissipating 35 or watts or so. I can't touch this one. Ah. This one is fantastically hot to the touch. The fan is running. Ouch! Touching the heat sink makes all the difference in the world. Although dissipating almost identical wattage this one is extremely hot. Compared with this one I can light, I'm touching the heat sink now, and it's not a problem at all. This module is just not quite right. I'm going to have to relay this case out, since this is a more popular case, I believe. 
I'm going to have to see if I can squeeze two of these on this face or in this case. So somewhere down the road there may be a, an ongoing part of this. For now I'm going to say there, there's the modules. This one's got a problem. This one does not. So I'll conclude this for now. If you do like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe or come back. Thank you.